Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Today we have Craig Moulton from Cobra Resources PLC. Good morning, Craig. How are you? Good morning. Hey, great. Thank you. That's good. Um, for those investors not familiar with Cobra, what is the company's strategy? So Cobra is a company that's focused on um, two advanced exploration projects in South Australia. So we're an exploration and mining company. Um, the two projects we're focused on at the moment, one's called the Prince Alfred Copper Mine, and the other is the Woodner Gold Project. Um, these projects were recently acquired as part of um, an agreement which we announced on the 7th of March, and that was part of the acquisition of an Australian company called uh, Lady Alice Mines. And Lady Alice basically owned the Prince Alfred Copper Mine um, 100%, and it's got the right to earn into a 75% interest in the Woodner Gold Project. So, um, you know, we've, we've basically focused on the development of both of these projects. Just to give you a little bit of history, if you don't mind, about the, um, the, the two projects. So Prince Alfred was a historic copper mine, and that's uh, located about 100 kilometres northeast of Port Augusta in South Australia. It operated in the, the late 1800s. It actually closed in 1907 when the price of copper at the time fell. Um, and our plan with Prince Alfred is to actually test the depth of mineralisation because they only mine down to about 50 metres. Um, so we're trying to test the depth extension of mineralisation below, below that old mine. Um, and then the Woodner Gold Project is located in the central air peninsula um, and it's in a gold province called the Central Gawler Gold Province, which includes mines such as Takula and Nakela Hill. Um, but it's a really underexplored part of South Australia, so we're very excited about that. And basically, so our strategy is once we've raised funds um, through this current process, which I'll talk about, um, then um, the intent is to deliver our exploration program and test the, the priority targets of both of these projects. Okay, and uh, can you explain your role at COBRA? So I've joined um, COBRA recently. Um, I'm currently an executive director. And then once we complete the fundraise, I'll come on basically as the managing director and we'll be leading COBRA. And uh, does COBRA currently plan to make any other project acquisitions? That's a great question. So um, we will certainly be looking at other project opportunities. And, you know, our strategy is to focus on projects that um, are advanced projects like Woodner and, and um, Prince Alfred. Uh, ones where we know that we're definitely already with a mineralised system, so we're not so much focused on real, true greenfields um, exploration projects. We're looking for advanced projects. Um, but, of course, we're always looking for projects where we can add significant um, value to our shareholders. If we find projects that have synergies with our current portfolio, either in terms of commodity or location, then we can have a serious look at them. And um, as long as there's a, a pathway to add value, then I think we'll, um, we'll seriously consider them. That being said, I think, you know, for the next six to 12 months, um, our primary focus is going to be delivering the exploration project at both Woodner and Prince Alfred. Right. So Cobra recently re uh, released an updated uh, resource statement for the Woodner project. Uh, why is it so significant? Yeah, look, thanks for that. Um, it, it really is quite exciting. You know, we've, um, we haven't we have done any drilling at Woodner yet, and we've already announced an upgraded um, resource. And this was part of the value that we identified early when we started reviewing and did some of the due diligence on this project. Um, one of the directors for Lady Alice Mines, the company that we acquired, a gentleman by the name of David Clark, who's a highly respected geologist in South Australia, had identified an alternative um, geological interpretation at Woodner. So Woodner already has a um, an inferred resource of 200,000 ounces of gold. Um, so when we looked at this alternative um, geological interpretation um, and re-estimated the resource, it, it really um, improved the, the continuity direction of mineralization or the continuity of the mineralization. Um, and this new, this new resource that we've estimated is now 211,000 ounces. So without doing any further drilling at all, we've added 11,000 ounces to the resource inventory. This represents a 5% increase in the contained gold and a 15% increase in the total resource tonnes. Um, not only that, we've increased the high confidence indicated resource by 1,000 ounces from 17,000 ounces to 18,000 ounces. So the bottom line is that Cobra is now an exploration and mining company with a resource of 211,000 ounces and at the suspension, we had a market cap of less than a million pounds. So even after the upcoming fundraise, we'll have a very low enterprise value given our gold resource base, and that's before we start this year's exploration program. 
And how will the 2019 exploration program impact the Wooden Air Resource Inventory? So, you know, Wooden Air um, has some very exciting exploration targets. We've got 14 in total. Um, this year, we intend to select the six best of those. And firstly, what we're going to do is we do some infield geochem sampling to make sure that we can accurately target our drilling. And then we will drill those targets. We'll look at doing about six dr uh, targets, uh, sorry, six drill holes in each of those targets, plus um, and about another 10 holes at some of the existing resource. Um, and as we get those results, obviously, we're going to keep the market well informed of the, the progress um, that we have there. Um, ultimately, what we intend, intend to do is take the best two or three of those targets from this year and then in 2020 use those to define um, resources. Ultimately, our aim at Woodner is to grow the resource base from the current 211,000 ounces to well over a million ounces. Right. And uh, what about plans to define a resource at uh, Prince Alfred? So um, at Prince Alfred, our current plan is to drill five to seven um, uh, RC holes with diamond tails, and that's to test the mineralisation at, at depth below the historic mine workings. And we also plan to do an electromagnetic or EM survey, and this will enable us to test, sorry, identify mineralisation that's proximal to that drilling. And um, so once that drilling, that's likely to be completed after the woodener drilling, so probably towards the end of the year. Now, if we identify high-grade mineralisation in that drilling, which we um, are very hopeful that we will, then next year we'll aim to define a resource at Prince Alfred. Okay. And uh, Cobra has been suspended since the announcement of the Lady Alice Mines acquisition on the 7th of March this year. When can investors expect to see the stock trading again? So I guess you have to understand that so prior to the acquisition, Cobra was a cash shell. Um, and we're now transitioning to an operating company. And we're doing that via the Lady, Ac Lady Alice acquisition. Um, this effectively uh, triggers a reverse takeover. And we also, and as part of this process, intend to raise some money for the exploration activities uh, for this year and for next. Um, so we're required by the um, UK Listing Authority or the Financial Conduct Authority to um, issue a prospectus, and that has to be approved. Um, this, prospect, this prospectus must include, amongst other things, a competent persons report or a CPR for each of the assets. And the CPR must be completed by an independent technical expert and is a detailed and independent review of the geology, mineralisation, the resources, uh, the ownership and prospectivity of, of each exploration project. And there's a lot of data at Woodner, so this CPR has taken about six weeks to complete. Um, the, review, sorry, the review process may have a number of iterations, uh, with the FCA asking us questions and Copper coming back and answering them, um, until the FCA is, is satisfied that the company is eligible for readmission. And so once the prospectus is finalised, um, then we'll commence raising funds, um, and once that's complete, we'll recommence trading. Can you tell us where you're up to in this process? Okay, so um, we've completed the CPRs, um, and we've actually submitted a draft prospectus to the UKLA. Um, in fact, um, as recently as last night, we got our first um, set of questions back from the FCA, which we're just in the in the process of reviewing. Um, and so from now on, every time we answer the questions, the FCA must come back to us within five days. So our aim is to complete the review process and have the fund raise completed by the end of June or at the latest early July. Uh, but we need to be clear that we're not completely in control of that process. And it really does depend on how quickly the FCA revert with any questions and how complex those questions are. Um, once this is complete, um, as two of the, in fact, all three of our exploration permits um, have now been approved by the Department of Energy and Mining in South Australia, and um, we'll certainly be able to commence our exploration program at Woodner shortly after that. Great. Uh, last question then, Craig. Uh, why should investors buy Cobra shares? Uh, that's a great question. Um, and look, firstly, before answering that, I'd just really like to thank our current shareholders um, for their faith in us today, and we genuinely appreciate their patience and support, um, certainly during this process with the transaction and the fundraise. And we um, we really look forward to their continued support um, during this what is going to be a really exciting journey. The value of proposition for Cobra is quite simple. Um, there are two exciting advanced exploration projects and a gold resource inventory of over 200,000 ounces. Um, when reinstated, an enterprise value is likely to be in the order of a million pounds. And if you work that out, it's basically four to five pounds per ounce of gold resource. 
you look at the current gold price at a thousand pounds per ounce. I mean, it's it's evident that represents exceptional value from day one. But that's only our starting point. The exploration program is going to be focused on growing a resource base to hopefully over a million ounces. Um, and if that's successful, then we will continue to add significant value for our shareholders. So this is a great time to get involved with Cobra. It's very early on in, in the story, um, and we look at look forward to delivering a lot of value for our shareholders. Great. Well, thank you, uh, Craig, for taking the time to talk to us, and uh, we'll look forward to the next update. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.